teleportation. <laughs> it, oh, it gives you a headache. Right now, I've got a knee thrown up. They can clear that up. So, we've got dinosaurs. Are they really what we think they look like, or hear like, or sound like? Let's discuss the fuck out of this! <laughs> Welcome to QDHD. Questionable fucking discussions! Sorry. Yeah. So today we are going to talk the fuck out of dinosaurs. Yeah. Are they really what we actually think they are? I don't know. Mm. You never know, they might have toenails on their fucking ears. <laughs> and they're growing like horns. Um, basically, I don't... I, I strongly, I don't believe with what scientists have come up with, with just by, um... They're skeletons. I don't believe Bones. we should actually know what they look like just from that. It's like if you look at ours and apes and I don't know what else really that's similar. There's a lot of differences. We've like we've got hair, we've got different parts of our body in different areas. But then with the ape, they've got different other places, haven't they? They've got different bumps and I don't know what you want to call them lumps. Like anything. on the skeleton, you don't see that we have a nose. Well, you yeah. see it's a hole. That's what I mean, and that's... Yeah, that's I know, it might be a sex hole. <laughs> <laughs> but then, that's there, but then, if we, again, with all these astronomers and everything looking at, um... Astronomers? Whatever. Whatever you want to <laughs> fucking call them, not fucking, oh, fucking scientists. Whatever you want to do is, like, look back into those, and they look at all these skeletons, and they come out of all this, like, new technology, or this technology, from that skeleton, we think this is what it looks like. But you can't, you can't just do that, you can't tell, you, you never know, like, like, again, with the T-Rex... That T Rex could, by the the skeleton, obviously you can tell it's well, one of the largest dinosaurs out there. Yeah. Um, but you don't, you can't tell. It sounds like a roar. Mm. It, it might go tweet tweet. <laughs> you, you just know because that's its that's its voice box, isn't it? Yeah. You but can't. Then, but again, with, with that, um, how can you tell? You know, who, who's the person out there that found out that the dinosaurs roar rather than made any different sounds? Yeah. Just from a skeleton. Mm. I know. You know who's the person that come up with that? Because um, with and us, how do we, you know, in the future, yeah. in our in our future, and if anything happened to Earth, we fucking wiped out. Aliens come down with our um, get our skeletons. How could they know what we were like? How can they know? Did we roar? Did we do anything? No, we all talked. But then apes, apes, uh, and any animals all have different sounds. Yeah. Or different skeletons. <laughs> <laughs> but you you just can't you can't tell what what there is. Mm. So. Like, I, I would, me, myself, this is why we're doing questionable discussions. Not just for this question, it's like, we've got loads more coming up. Um, but this was one that got us thinking, because how can you actually tell with what we've got, mm. what, what they actually are? I think it, it's just, just a guess. That's all it like, is. Like, how do we know that they didn't go and talk to each other? It's in the colours like as well. Like, like, years back, you never know. We, th th we used different. to think they're grey, but scientists are now starting to think they're looking up birds more, which is a good idea because they're descendants and they're really, really colourful birds. So they're starting to put that in. Yeah, T-Rex may have been bright pink and green. You never know. You know, know. Years, years back, you would think, like, I don't think that years ago, uh, like, I can, I can see some references, I can see some differences. Like, years back, there's got to be, because there's got to be different plants. In yeah. The days. There was no such thing as grass. No, they, there was no habitat in there. But that, that's what I mean. If you think of that as well, you know, how did like herbivores? Like, how can you tell? From, again, how can you tell from an animal from bones? It was no herbivore. You have to look at their shit and a carnivore. <laughs> you know, but this is. But then, shit does fossilize, guys. <laughs> does shit fossilize? <laughs> yeah. Does does it actually fossilize? <laughs> See, I don't know this, and I'm learning this now. <laughs> <laughs> so this shit this actually is fossilizes. <laughs> How do you know this? Oh, all these Discovery channels. So you sat there watched all of them and just found out that shit fossilizes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> hey, Ma! What? Shit fossilizes! <laughs> really? Yeah! 
I don't know why I did those accents <laughs> there. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Stop sound... doing it now. Oh, now you sound a bit gay. <laughs> I'm not gay. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Far oh, from it. Yeah. Far from it. <laughs> I'm bi <laughs> Anyway let's get back to the topic of dinosaurs So um, What else was it? Well like anything really It's just mm. physical structure And a plus another thing People used to think dinosaurs looked the same When they were a baby But now we're starting to see that All these different cre- uh, cre- <laughs> Creations <laughs> All these different creatures like, you have the different triceratopses yeah. that are smaller and smaller that we're actually starting to realise it's the same dinosaur. And they get different when as they grow older. Like humans. Yeah. Humans start to grow facial hair. Ha- start again, to get facial public hair. Facial hair. <laughs> How do we not know that any of these dinosaurs didn't grow hair? Mm-hmm. How do we not know that? You, know, you never know. They, we now know they the have dinosaurs feathers. may have had some nice fucking hairstyles back in there. You know, fucking <laughs> big goaties. <laughs> you know, they probably look like fucking Vikings nowadays. You know, yeah, fucking going around with their fucking I don't know two pays. <laughs> <laughs> just picture that now. <laughs> I'm gonna have to try and find the video, and I'm gonna have to have him dancing underneath here. Yeah, just, just, just as we're saying this now. <laughs> that would be hilarious. But it's it's just um, th- like physicality of the dinosaurs. From b- just again, I'm going to the bones. But the problem is, how we would never know what they look like. It's Im- physically impossible because there is no way on this earth to go back in time and I could just see something. Uh, uh, what the fuck is that? Call me a fox. <laughs> <laughs> We're being raided! Ah! Hands up! <laughs> oh. being the outtakes. Raided! Ah! Bun him first. <laughs> <laughs> no, oh. but, um... It's, it's just... You can't, like... I want to know what you guys want to know, as well. I want to know what you think, really, with towards this, because it's, it's never going to get answered, because this is only what we've got from dinosaurs now is only what from people suspect them to be. Not mm. what they are. But then... Because we could actually physically create a dinosaur. Yeah. If you get a bird, I don't know, whatever bird... Or, um, what's the ones in Australia where they run really fast? And... Birds run. <laughs> <laughs> no, well, This is unbelievable. Uh, what well, ostrich, that's it. If you get an oh. ostrich, switch their teeth gene so they'll grow teeth. You can edit their tail so their tail will grow, carry on growing. Because they actually have teeth when they're in the egg. They? It's just that you have to keep it on. It's like male or female kind of thing. Oh, they sort yeah. of drop, they just drop it as they come, in, come into existence. <laughs> yeah, girls just drops it off. It's just, it's just like the I'm funny thing the is, it's actually the opposite way. Yeah, so it's like literally being on a computer, just drag and drop it off. <laughs> I don't want that. Anyway. Yeah. Probably in the future, it'll be a little bit more like Jurassic Park, you know, where um, in the lab they're just like grabbing and dropping genes <laughs> in, like frog DNA. Yeah, but then like, dra- if we bring up Jurassic Park, yeah. they get it from, I believe, from a fossilised mosquito, isn't yeah. it? Which obviously gets all the stuff from blood DNA. Um, is that Which is the building blocks of life. We can actually do a question on that later on as well. Is, is it possible... Jurassic Park. To go back that far in time and bring stuff back for our blood. Like, is is it possible? Mm. Are we are we in that stage in our time? Because technology, technology is, is technology is shooting away. It's <laughs> <laughs> It is. Like I it's can see so I can fast. honestly I can see ourselves in the future now. Well not us. On flying. hoverboards <laughs> flying around I can, like I back to the future. It. It's it's a good idea, like Things flying, I don't, I'm not really sure that would stick around, because if there was stuff flying all the time, we wouldn't need aeroplanes, that would take jobs, that would just knock that off. Um, flying cars. That's what I mean, you could fly anywhere, so it would just can't knock everything out. But again, I won't go into that too much, because this would be another another question for I the know, future. which we're actually talking about dinosaurs here. I know, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, it's actually really annoying that... It would be amazing to see dinosaurs, to be honest. Mm. And like we said, like Jurassic Park, G- 
do you guys think it's actually a good idea? What? What, to create? Yeah. To create di- like a park with dinosaurs? Um, I, f- I thought that the park would have been good if you didn't create the carnivals. Um, yeah, but that'd be a herbivore. That wouldn't be... Because, obviously, you can't... It'd be a good idea with some, and some it wouldn't, because... Tyrannosaurus, fuck that. No, but guys, I know, fuck I know, that. I know we'd all <laughs> say, like, no, no, I don't want to see this, like, Velociraptors. I don't want to see, you know, don't but do we that. we want to see them, but, no, but that's just fucking dangerous, as we see from the film. Your suspiciousness and your curiosity would want to see it. I know. You know, it's that fact you, you oh, I'm going to go to this park, there's dinosaurs in there. The main thing you'd all, you know, you'd all say now, because you're scared, obviously, from watching these films, knowing what would happen, like, you'd get taken over with fuck. Um, especially <laughs> We're pretty much See, fucks. me, me personally, I could honestly <laughs> say, if if there was a park and anything was escaped, I would be fucking shitting myself <laughs> if, shitting I, your pants. if I knew a Velociraptor was out. Yeah. I'm, <clears throat> I don't, I'm not even going to act tough, I'm going to be, Velociraptors are fucking scary. You know? The funny thing is... That, in Jurassic Park, that's not a Velociraptor. A Velociraptor is pretty much the same size as a chicken. Why is it so small? They just are. They're, they're prehistoric chicken, Velociraptors. But the um, r- r- the raptors in Jurassic Park is actually, um, oh, what's it called again? Ultra, no, Ultra, no. I'll, I'll put the name right here, what they're called. Yeah, we're doing a little Googling. Hang on. <laughs> just wait, <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, wait for it. Wait for it. There it is! There! Ah, there it is! Yeah. That was it! That was it! Right. No, right. <laughs> that's the name of that raptor. Right. As you were saying. What? You can't learn about the raptor. Oh, yeah. And also, like, if you noticed in Jurassic Park, the velociraptors, how much they've changed. They've gone from having just plain skin. In the second movie, oh, they started to have a bit of feathers. In the third movie, they were full of feathers. And now the fifth one, you don't actually see velociraptors. Oh yeah, you do. Blue sky. Um, yeah. What? 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 what fifth? Yeah, it's what the same. fuck? Fourth. What? 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 Fourth. <laughs> no, what the fuck? Um, yeah, is there the a fifth one? one? But by the time this video is up, <laughs> is there a fifth Jurassic Park? Well, there is a fifth one in the future. That's probably what I'm talking about. No spoilers. <laughs> oh yeah, spoilers. 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 It's called Jurassic World, or Jurassic: The Lost World. No. I was copying the second one. I, I don't know. I honestly think they should call it Jurassic. We should have learned by now. <laughs> Jurassic. Forget it. We're fucked. No, but then, like we were saying about the zoo, like, if it should it be actually created, um, I, you, you, all of you would want to see the T-Rex. Yeah, because to, so to me, that... You, it'd have to be there. To but me, my you, ch- when I was a child, it. I preferred T-Rex was <laughs> the main thing. It's yeah. all about the T-Rex. If they could, if like they could pa- find a way... But, sorry for giving, bringing up Power Rangers here, but the only reason Power Rangers existed, dinosaurs. The Zords were dinosaurs. <clears throat> T-Rex, um, it was all the main dinosaurs. Like T- yeah. T-Rex, um, I'm forgetting the fucking bird one now, and that's pissing me off. Pterodactyl? Yeah, Pterodactyl, Triceratops. But the funny thing is, the Mastodon... And the saber-toothed tiger isn't a fucking dinosaur. It's a mammal, which pisses me well off. During the Ice Age. Yeah. Which is after dinosaurs, wasn't it? It was, I know. After, it was after the meteor stroke. Oh, volcanoes. Yeah, but that's what I mean. It's, it's, again, it's like we with don't, those. How did they disappear? Because <clears throat> like they say the crater, don't they? Well, the creator. The crater that was found. Yeah. Was, a massive they fucking believe. crater. But then there's no... There's no comment. Like over years, a million years, that would have disintegrated and all gone. But I'm t- I can't see it. I can't see a comet hitting us and nothing just like that. Um, you'd understand. I can. You would explain the way the world's obviously cracked and gone into separate areas. Mm. Um, but no. But again, you could also say about volcanoes, because volcanoes, once they've done the eruption and they've they've gone, they will sink underwater. They will go back down to the underneath. And I know there's loads underneath the seas. It's probably like loads. I think there's four or five in the Red Sea, if I'm correct. So I'm gonna put that down there if that's true or not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah one hit. Wait a minute. Oh, wait. There it is. Hey. <laughs> Here it is. Right. <clears throat> but yeah. Um, so honestly, um, 
An overall, an overall, an overall answer for this, uh, for this question for um, dinosaur. What do we? Fuck knows. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck knows. Stop making up bullshit. <laughs> <laughs> um, Believe what you want, but to be honest, it's nothing's fucking true. We don't know nothing. Yeah. I can honestly say that, like, again, just with the colours, I don't believe the colour. I think that's just to make the movies, what we've seen in the movies, to make it more scary. Mm. Um, Because obviously... Like, Spinosaurus, how the fuck? There's only, like, a few little bones, but yet they put something together. Yeah, but again... tiny little bones. Is the Spinosaurus the one with the big giant flap on its back? Yeah. In the third movie. But again, looking at the skeleton of those dinosaurs, how did they find out it had that? Mm. That's what confused me. There was a young, there was a cousin of the Spinosaurus called Baryonyx, which had a spot. Well, actually, had a little bit of a spine. I think I'll put a picture up right there. Wait for it. That's like the cousin of the Spinosaurus, but yet, because it has the long snout, so the Spinosaurus, but yet. How the fuck do we know the Spinosaurus looks like Baryonyx? How the fuck do we know what it looks like at all? How the fuck do we know he has long big arms that stretch and grab people like that? Sorry for fucking touching your head. Don't touch me! <laughs> exactly. Yeah, it was just you can't tell. Honestly, yeah. that, that is the main thing I want to get out there. You can't, just from bones and everything, you can't, you can't. It's physically impossible. You can't tell, you know. It's the same about... It's like... I'll bring up penises. I don't. Not this yeah. gay time and, and now. Plus... But again, penises is not a bone. It's not part of the body. But it's. I'm trying because I'm trying to think. Of, <laughs> I'm trying to just think. Of you stuff. know, a penis doesn't have a. But bone. then I can say your penis, <laughs> your, your penis, your nose. This is for males. Your ears. Um, your ears, and then for yeah, women, I... for women, breasts. Things. Yeah. You know, none of those. So are, on none a skeleton, of those, none of you those can't tell if it's female or but male. That, but that's what I mean. That's. That's not a type of bone. So then they are just stuff that are just like physically created on the bone. Like that's, you that's don't the know we have bloody nails. So then how can you tell what a dinosaur looks like from bones without knowing what the tissue is? You know, you, you can't but tell. But there is imprints on rocks of dinosaur things. And Maybe. there was there was a um, dinosaur, if I can remember, that had... Um, the whole, pretty much the whole body preserved. I don't know. I I'll put the video in the description, but I watched it and it was pretty much a whole of a fucking dinosaur, except from a little half of its tail. But that's called Blue Binnington, because it went into this river or something. Yeah, I'll put that in the description so you guys can watch that if you're interested. Mm. But it's the same. Right. One thing I want to link into this because the dinosaurs is is Nessie a dinosaur? Well. What That's is, what is Nessie? Because like, when I when lots, I first saw Ness like, monster, that's what I mean. When I first saw, uh, I would have Loch Ness monster. The picture of Nessie. I was thinking of um, is it a Stegosaurus? Stegosaurus. I that's the fucking one that's got the swingy tail and oh, the spines. Right. On not that. that one, then. I'm not really good. You, with you mean like the, the um, giant tall one with a giant neck? One from Land of All Time. No, no, no. The ones with, like, giant big necks. You're on about the ones in the Look sea, Look at Nessie. Though. Yeah. Well, no, not the ones in the sea, but then... The ones with the long necks. So we're trying sea. to say the Loch Ness Monster is a, is the leftover dinosaur that survived. To be honest, some people might say that's physically impossible, but, like I said, but it's hard to explain. It could be possible. It could be a descendant. Because if you... Did you know that we have discovered more of the moon than we have of our own water on Earth. And the Amazon, ri- uh, Amazon River, the Amazon, we haven't actually got even into that. We mm. haven't, there's probably so many more creatures we don't know about. True, true. Obviously there's no Brachiosaurus walking about because we'll probably hear it going boom, boom, <laughs> boom. <laughs> boom. <laughs> right, but let's, let's uh, give them a, a Huge uh, answer now to walk away with. Um, so, right. Dinosaurs. Do we really know what they look like? Our final answer. Our literally, the biggest answer to come out there now. Is. Am I saying? Yeah, I'll let you say it. <laughs> Fuck knows. That's our answer. If you don't like <laughs> it. <laughs> Fuck, fuck off. off. <laughs> if you do like it. 
Hit a like, like button down and below. And comment as well. And leave a little fucking comment. And don't forget to fucking subscribe. Yeah, for right? more. <laughs> so stay tuned for our next video. This will be a weekly every Saturday. So please stay tuned. And ta-ta. And also, go and check out our individual channels. Mine, Matt the Skull. Ashley's is Ironico Come. Not Ironic so, Gaming. Yes, as... Swift Gamer keeps saying, all right, I'll say Swift Game 69 to piss him off. <laughs> One knobhead. <laughs> he is a fucking knobhead. If you're watching this, you're a fucking knobhead. <laughs> you yeah? are a fucking knobhead. Fucking knobhead, and I'm fucking coming for you. Fucking coming for you. <laughs> fucking coming for you. Right, yeah. Yeah, as, uh, sorry, as we were saying, just went a little bit off there. <laughs> so, I think we'll leave it there. We should we put, tell them what copy the next one's going to be about? Uh, no, but what we'll say, we let, we'll, let, we'll leave a tease, leave a little, little tease. tease at the end, or like an allegram. So ready? Anagram. Ready? We're telling the next question, right? Next week's question is.